What's good, y'all? So y'all already know why I'm here, okay? Um, thank you for tuning in to my Andrew Tarot. It's your girl Mimi. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Like, 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 like. We about to go ahead and be nosy and see what the fuck is going on with the DM and the karmic. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the romance angels to see what their love life is about. I'll text that back later. What's going on in DM and karmic love life? We can be a little messy sometimes too. So let's see. Oh yeah, y'all not going to bed with me tonight. <laughs> so I'm in the office. Let go of control issues. This let go of control issues is honestly get, giving me the vibes that it's like allow this situation to unfold naturally the dm needs to let go of control issues because if y'all don't know the dm is only with the karmic because the karmic allows the dm to do whatever like the karmic is so codependent on dm that they allow dm to control everything so this is really why the uh why the dm went for the karmic Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically uh, attractive. But also, this could be the DM letting go of control issues and starting to love themselves first. Or this could be the karmic. You know, flip it and reverse it. But someone in the DM and karmic's relationship is ready to let go of control issues and just put themselves first. That's a good thing. Religious factors in a reverse. Someone doesn't believe in this connection anymore. Like, um, I feel like that they've tried and tried and tried. And it's not growing. Like how it was growing when the DM was with the DF. It's not growing. How can it grow when you you got all these motherfucking karmics around? But... This this DM and Karmic may have a baby on the way. They may have a fucking child. But this is definitely why they're uh, still together. Because they don't have no chemistry. They literally together because they got a fucking baby. Or they got one on the way. Give me one more. You deserve love. You are lovable. Someone is letting go of controlling this relationship and starting to love themselves first. Like, they are starting to lose belief in this relationship. The only thing that is keeping them there right now is children. There's no chemistry, and someone is finally realizing that they actually deserve love. So, I'm getting this energy that... The DM or the karmic is finally coming to their senses. Like, if you have to control it, it's not meant for you. Like, literally. If you have to control it, it's not meant for you. You should want your shit to come to you naturally. You feel me? Yeah. So, let's go ahead and get some wisdom, Oracle. I just got out the tub. I'm all oiled up. Feeling good and soft. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Can you please give us more messages surrounding the DM and the karmic? What's up with the DM and the karmic? How does the DM feel towards the karmic at this moment? Give me messages on what the DM actually feels about the karmic. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Ancestors of the highest white light. Let's see what's coming out. There's too many. That's three. Only one one. If it's going to be three, I want them to like, not just all collapse out like that. You know? Breathe. I feel like DM is starting to breathe. I feel like that this is the DM, like, letting go of this these control issues 
time for a nap. I feel like that this person is meditating and they're starting to see the truth. They see that it's time to wake up to this connection. They have to wake up to this connection. You have to love yourself first. Just because you have children with somebody and no chemistry does not mean that you should stay in that situation. You should always know that you deserve love. Wow. This person feels like God is like not with them. This 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 person has not been blessed since being in this situation with this karmic. Nothing has been occurring. This ain't nothing came to fruition. It's like all of the masculine's blessings stopped once he literally committed to this karmic. Ain't nothing being built. I'm not making this shit up. Ain't nothing being built. This, this DM ain't seen nothing come to fruition. The only thing that he see that actually came from this relationship is a baby. Anybody can get pregnant. Between worlds, your person ready to move forward. Your person feels like that all of his blessings has been like put on hold. Since he's been with this karmic and now this this person has awakened to this relationship and ready to move forward. I mean, but you you don't want to stay nowhere when it's just stagnant and ain't moving forward. Like even by the book, that's in a reverse. They're not moving forward. Go the distance in a reverse. DM does not want to this this DM does not want to continue with this karmic. That's just on period. The cards are like people do. <laughs> okay, let's get some Manara. Do I want Manara? Yeah, I want Manara. Manara. That's a cute name. Manara. We've been on a tragedy for months. Why can't you believe in me for once? Maybe we can be on chill tonight. Baby, I can give you chills. All right, spirits. Show me what I need to see for this Minara tech. Give me, I said tech. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, dick. Spirit, please show me in a collective what we need to see. Nine of Earth in the reverse. Nine of Earth is the Nine of Pentacles. That being in, in the reverse is is proving this fucking is basically clarifying this building blocks in the reverse. Ain't nothing coming to fruition. This per, DM done put in so much time with this karmic. He's supposed to see something by now, and this person is not seeing nothing coming to fruition. Five of Fire is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is like making my mind up type shit. Like that's that's some fast energy. It may be some type of something. I don't know. I just feel like that this this karmic has learned the DM down to the T. And this karmic is being very manipulative. This karmic may be holding on to your person. By bringing other women in the bedroom. It's like this karmic is having sex with the DM. With other women. Just to make sure that like he's happy. This karmic think that sex is going to keep DM happy. Five of water in a reverse. Five of water in an upright. You see how he's he's... He's trying to keep her afloat, trying to keep her from drowning. In a reverse, he he he's like drowning this bitch. All of the emotions that he felt for this karmic, they're being drowned. And then we got Queen of Fire.
So this karmic may be very beautiful, but she used her sexuality to like put spells on men. The devil. Like I fucking just said, this karmic may be beautiful, but she used her sex to like put spells on men. This this karmic been bringing other women in the bedroom, doing shit in the bedroom that your DM ain't never did before, just to keep him pretty much from coming towards you. The chariot, exactly. She's doing this because he she knows that he wants to come towards you. They may be like a sexual couple on Pornhub or something. They may have a lot of sex videos and like she blackmail him through those videos. I feel like that they have like a home life together. Let me get some with some uh modern witch. Who is calling my phone? That's why I don't ever touch that phone no more. It's always ringing. All right, spirit. How does the karmic feel about DM? Give me some 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 info. How does the karmic feel about the DM? Why is my phone still ringing? How does the karmic feel about the DM spirit? Please show me true, clear messages. I've been wanting to do this reading all day. <laughs> but I guess God, like, wait till you finna go to sleep to be messy. <laughs> Just make sure, you know, pray before you go to sleep. <laughs> King of Swords. The karmic feels off top, off top, that the masculine is mean. The masculine is being very fucking mean right now. This karmic is like being hatred to, to this this DM is being hatred towards the karmic. She knows that DM is not coming towards them and they're moving away and working on the motherfucking cells. They're taking their fucking cup away. And I feel like that this DM told the karmic like I'm moving away from you. And I'm moving away fast and in a hurry. Wow. The karmic knows that the DM wants to manifest a new world with you so that y'all can work together. This karmic knows that DM is making these changes to manifest a, a, a new life with you. Because when the DM was with the DF, the DM had blessings and they were actually building something. The, the masculine has been straight up with this karmic. The masculine has been mean as fuck to this karmic, like literally telling the fucking truth. Like he not holding on no more and he's moving forward. The chariot came out two times and both tarot decks. The last card was the fucking chariot. You may be dealing with a cancer. But DM is moving forward. Even if you don't accept him back, this DM is still moving forward. Because he spent all this time with this karmic and ain't nothing been built. Ain't nothing been built. It's been years. Ain't nothing been built. But a toxic ass relationship and a fucking karmic baby. That's gonna have to grow up with a karmic mama because she decided to have kids before being one with the divine. That child is coming into your life to cause karma, to, to bring you karma. And masculine finna leave, so you and this baby probably gonna be on the streets, bro, with no money. The baby probably ain't gonna never see the karmic, because the karmic is literally gonna have to work hours and hours and hours just to make ends meet. So, what's the advice? Show me 
what the fuck these Moonology cards got to say. Fuck advice. Just show me what they got to say. Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity is new beginnings as well. A new start is coming. I cannot make this up. Like, what's this last card? Show the world the real you. I feel like that the masculine is finally knowing who 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 they are. They're knowing who they are, and they know that they are good enough. They know that they deserve love. All right, y'all. I hope y'all like this reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Get me to 600 subscribers. I'm at 530 right now. Please, y'all, help your girl get to 600. And then after that, we just need 400. <laughs> the closer I get to you, the more you make me see by giving you all you got. Oh, yes. Your love has captured me, me, yeah. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Good night. I'll be back in the morning.